as you can see this is the layout that I have I go to main.xml and you can see here there is a view view group here which I told you in the last six, uh, last class as well that we have the various views and we have the various view groups in Android so when I talk about a linear layout I always call it a view group because it houses various views as you can see here it houses a single view here which is the text view so this is the view group this is a linear layout and this is what the hello world hello world main.xml contains so now let's go back to the presentation so there are the these are the there are the following views that we have in android one is the linear layout another one is the relative layout then we have the table layout then the grid view and then the list view so i'll be taking the, all these layouts one by one so when i talk about the linear layouts a linear layout is and layout that arranges its children in a single column or a single row. So you can have a vertical orientation of the linear layout or you can have a horizontal orientation of the linear layout. Let's take a look at the sample here. So here I have a single text view here and as you can see here in the linear layout I hope uh, this is visible to everyone or should I just expand it a little? I'll just expand it a little. So this is my linear layout here and under the linear layout I have a text view. As you can see here I have set the orientation of the linear layout to vertical. There are various attributes that one needs to take care of. Let's, let me just go through it one by one. So here we have the layout width. As you can see here I have filled it with parent. So there are, uh, there are two cases how I can fill it with parent. One is the match parent and one other one is the fill parent. After API level 8, that is after Android 2.2 and above, what we have is we have both the characteristics. We can have the match parent, we also have the fill parent. Though both the features are like are used interchangeably, but when we talk about say uh, if I am doing some development which also takes care, uh, takes care of APIs below uh, 8, suppose I am doing for 1.6, I am doing, doing it for 1.5. So in this particular case, I should always use the fill parent because this is the match parent context has come after the API level 8 only. So it's always better to use fill parent so you can have the backward compatibility here. I hope this is clear to everyone. Then I ha also have the height attribute here which I have also, also marked as fill parent. And then I have set an orientation to the linear layout. What if I don't set an orientation here? I'll just remove this orientation and I just save this. Can anyone of you tell me what is the default orientation that is automatically picked up by the linear layout? You can all write your uh, responses on the chat window. In the meanwhile, you're responding. I'll just make it. Harpreet says vertical. I'll just do it for you here. What I have done here is I have added four text views here onto the linear layout. Shivam says horizontal, Mohit says vertical. So let's go and take a look. Here is my hello world activity. Since this is match, this is fill parent. Here you can see what I wanted to tell you all. So as you all can see here, if I try to just wrap these contents onto the text view, what I have is I have a horizontal orientation here. So by default, if I'm not giving any orientation to a linear layout, we have by default the linear layout is set to be in the horizontal orientation. So I hope uh, I have answered the question that I had just asked to you. And I think Krishna said it correctly and I have got another response. Shivam got it correct. So let's go to now changing the orientation here. If I do, a, I say I change it to vertical and I just go to take a look at the graphical representation here. I'll just make this layout width to be wrap content here. I'll tell you what wrap content also means. I'll just let you know about it. I'll just let you know about what actually wrap content means. Here I miss the colons. 
So this is the representation what, which I see here. Since I have set it to vertical orientation, what I do is my all the views that are part of the view group are automatically adjusted one after the other in the vertical manner. So in the if I conclude, what I have is I have two orientations that I can support in the linear layout. One is the horizontal orientation and the other one is the vertical orientation. So when I have set my orientation to vertical, what I have is I can have various views aligned one after the other in the vertical manner. Similarly, if I change this or orientation to say horizontal, what I'll have is in this particular case is all the views as you can see here will get automatically adjusted horizontally. I'll just make it a little lesser so that you can have a clear look at these views. So these are my four text views and you can see these are all aligned horizontally. So I hope this is what an, a linear layout means in Android. So what if I am having say n number of views which I can align, I can have either a vertical orientation or an horizontal orientation. I hope this is clear to all. Should we move ahead? Please, uh, please write your responses so that we can move ahead with the next layout here. So this is a normal uh, linear layout. If I want to place some views one after the other, say in a horizontal manner or say in a vertical manner, I can do that. Do, do it both ways. All right. Then after the linear layout, what I'm left with, I might have to have a situation wherein I want to place views one with respect to the other. So in that particular case, what I'm left with is I have the leverage of using the relative layout, wherein my views are relative to one another. Let's take a look at relative layout. Here I showed you the linear layout. Here is, this is the linear layout and I have played, placed four text views in the linear layout and here you just saw the output. Now let's move to the linear, uh, to the relative layout here. 